Okay. This is Dan McHugh with the NGOs at Unispace 82. I'm speaking here today with Mr. Elias Netrodibi, who is the Chief of Delegation of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, known as PAC for short, here at Unispace. Mr. Netrodibi, could you explain what PAC is? Well, the PAC, the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, South Africa, is a liberation movement uh, that is fighting for the liberation of the people of racist South Africa. Now, in racist South Africa, we are fighting against the settler colonial regime, against the discrimination of the majority of the population, which happen to be the black people. And I understand that eventually you plan uh, to call South Africa Azania, hence the name Pack of Azania. That is very correct. Uh, Azania, in short, not to go deep into the historical position, is that is the land of the black people. And therefore, the African people, the black people, are indigenous to the land. Mr. Uh, Netro Dibi, what do you expect to achieve at this Congress by coming here? Well. To us, this is a very historic conference. What we hope to achieve is uh, to put our voice in addition to those voices that have been raised so that the international community should know that there is real danger and that a resolution must come out of this conference, a resolution aiming at demilitarization of the outer space because there is real danger to humanity because of those who are using outer space for military purposes. And this, to us, poses a serious danger to the lives of the entire mankind. Uh, are the African nations particularly concerned about this problem? African people are particularly concerned, particularly the developing countries, who realize that the usage of the exploration of outer space is a monopoly of those developed countries, those industrialized countries, and as a result, the developing countries are merely spectators in such a great amassing of knowledge and a great movement towards a national human development and technology. Uh, recently, uh, in the past year, there has been an incident reported in the United States press indicating that South Africa may or may not have exploded a large nuclear bomb off its coast. Uh, the American military satellites picked it up and the uh, scientific station Arecibo. Do you feel that the uh, proposal to have an independent UN space surveillance satellite would uh, give you more information in such cases? That would be very, very important. As a matter of fact, we believe that uh, South Africa must have exploited, uh, exploded a, a bomb already. Well, as you already say, uh, the, the information is within South Africa and the United States itself. But this would pose a real threat to the independent African states, particularly the frontline states, who are constantly the victims of aggression by South Africa. At the present moment, South Africa has just marched into Angola, and we are aware that aggressive uh, purposes would, uh, South Africa would use such power to try and aggress the neighboring states because of their assistance to the liberation movements. But do you believe that an independent UN military surveillance satellite would assist you in resolving these problems? That would be the most welcome thing because there would be control and therefore such knowledge would not be a monopoly. I see. Thank you. This is Dan McHugh at Unispace 82. We have been speaking with Mr. Elias Netrodibi of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania.